What is going down everybody? We are back on the Madden 18 Ultimate Team with the Average Squad and I guess I can call them that because at this stage of Madden we've got Ultimate Legend cards in circulation, we've got Limited Edition Signature Series cards out there, the NFL Replay promo, there's just a ton of new content out there that I just completely skipped over. And with all that new content dropping, you know how many cards I picked up? None. I'm gonna be pretty much running with the same exact squad that I had since the winter promo, or whenever they came out with the Calvin Johnson Snowbees card. But either way, this is probably gonna be one of my final Madden Ultimate Team videos for a number of reasons, and of course I'll touch on that later in the video, but this is the squad that I'm gonna be running with. Let's hop into some gameplay so these boys can get some work. Now my opponent comes out in the Broncos unis in a two wide set, snaps the ball, hands it off to Marshawn, trying to run it up the gut, there's just nowhere for him to go. We were right there to shut that play down, so on second and 11 he tries to hit Demarius on a quick wide receiver screen, but the Honey Badger was right there to break that play up. So facing a third and 11, Prescott goes with the play fake, he's under pressure, gets hit and the ball goes right into the hands of Tyron Matthew. And of course he's going to take it all the way back in for the score, and I'm not sure if that's considered a fumble recovery nor an interception, but either way we'll take it. So on my opponent's second drive, he tries to get the ground game working with Marshawn, but again, there's no daylight whatsoever. Our defense is doing a good job of shutting it down. And then on second down, he completely overthrows his wide receiver, but there were three defenders in coverage there anyway, so that probably wouldn't have been completed. So on third and 10 now, once again, the pocket collapses, and he does the smart thing by getting rid of it. Or so I thought, because check out what happens on fourth and 10. From his own 20 yard line, he does a fake punt. I just don't get it you guys, so with the play design with all go routes, my return man Deion Sanders can easily just pick that off and take it back. And you guys know me, I'm looking for whatever cutback lane is there so I can possibly take it to the house but there was no blocking ahead of me. But that was a pretty decent return so it kind of turns out to be a punt in the long run. But why go for it there, I just don't get it. So our offense takes the field here, Ryan comes out in the gun and from a clean pocket throws a laser to Calvin Johnson who goes up and makes the grab for the score. So we take a 14 to nothing lead here in the first quarter. The special teams units out in the field to return the kick. My opponent returns it, it gets crushed. The ball pops free and Deion Jones is right there for the easy scoop and score. And then dives into the end zone there at the end. But there it is you guys, you just witnessed it. There's the 21-0 skunk, I mean, usually it's time to pass the sticks to the next man. But my opponent's looking for a comeback here. So on second and 20, trying to hit his wide receiver. Once again, Tyron Matthew is there to break up the play. So on third and forever, I get stuck user and Willie McGinnis and I get to the quarterback for the sack. I'm telling you guys, I hate when I get stuck on linemen, but that time it works out for the better. So facing a fourth and forever from his own 18, my opponent's not going for it again, is he? You know he is, and it's the exact same play call as before, with the exact same result as before. I just don't get it. Why not punt the ball when you're backed up that way? Maybe one of you guys can help me understand. Is that just like the move for the culture now to just go for it on every down, regardless of where the ball is? Somebody let me know, but what a catch by Randy Moss right there. And I can only imagine what my opponent's going through on the other end of the screen, because as you can see, he pauses the game, and we all know what's coming next. So GG to my opponent as we hop right into another matchup. Getting into it on third and 16, Calvin Johnson makes the grab there to pick up the first down. That was huge, because we were really backed up on that play. And then we get AP involved for a nice gain of six on the play, setting up second and four. Ryan then comes out in the empty backfield, drops back with a really clean pocket, fires up top to Calvin Johnson for the easy touchdown, and just like that we go up six to nothing because apparently I can't kick extra point tries but either way we take the lead going into the second quarter my opponent comes out on his drive going with the play fake buying time but feels the pressure and is forced to get rid of it because Vic Beasley was right there applying the pressure and then on second down my opponent trying to take a shot downfield gets picked off by Earl Thomas and that's going to give the ball back to our offense at the 37 so we come out trying to establish the ground game with AP there's really no running room there looking at second and seven now Ryan surveying the field trying to take a shot to Mike Irvin but he can't get it to him near the sideline and that brings up third and seven and then this happens that was the ultimate of ultimates in making poor reads if you guys ever want to take any Madden advice from me don't do that if you guys can avoid doing what I just did, you'll probably end up winning because as you can see, that pick just cost me seven points. So now we're going to need our offense to get back on the field to make that up. But as Jalen Ramsey returns the kick from the one, he says, don't worry about that coach, I got this, and turns on the afterburners outrunning everybody for a 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And thanks to my inability to kick extra points, we have to go for two here, and we picked that up pretty easily on the slam play right there to Calvin Johnson. So now we're back in control of the game with a 14-7 lead. But my opponent to his credit is not going away as he dumps it underneath to OBJ for a short pickup, bringing up second and two. And that's when this happens. 
My opponent has a wide open receiver running downfield, and that's completely on me. I left Richard Sherman in press man coverage against Odell Beckham, and my opponent was just simply able to recognize it and take advantage of it, so credit to him. So to start the second half, my opponent receives the kick and decides to bring it out of the end zone, which turns out to be a horrible mistake as Deion Jones forces the fumble, picks it up, and takes it back to the house. So much like the last game we played today, turnovers in this one are a huge factor, and whoever wins the turnover battle may very well come away with the W in this game. But getting back to the gameplay here on second and six, my opponent takes a snap out of the gun, dumps it underneath, and the Honey Badger forces another fumble. Richard Sherman is right there to pick it up and take it back to the house for the score. And on top of everything else that's happened in this game to this point, I still can't kick extra points. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this has probably been my worst day kicking extra points, probably since Madden came out. But my opponent's next drive here, he's really feeling a sense of desperation as he scrambles out of the pocket, trying to connect with his receiver downfield, but he overthrows him, bringing up second and 10. He takes the snap out of the gun. We drop everybody back in the coverage and the pass rush gets home. Willie McGinnis gets to the quarterback for the sack. So that brings up a third and long now. And my opponent gets baited into throwing a user interception. Marshall's right there for the pick. And you guys should know what happens just about now when you see the pause screen. That's gonna be another dub in the book. So GG to my opponent. And that's about all the time I got for this video, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off and I'll see you in the next one.